What's that, the amp on the guitar? Yeah, this acts as the amp on that guitar. Oh, yeah, that's tough. I feel like I know a little bit. A little bit more. Every well, day. the life we've been given And the way we've been living Just a song that we write till we die Now some people write songs on living just right But I write mine on just getting by Yeah, I write my song just song getting by. It's hard yeah. out here for a player. You feel what yeah. I'm saying? I can't write about a life I ain't living. I write about a life I'm living, and it's hard out here, and I'm barely getting by. And I feel like I honestly say that because we know a little bit more about the story. Um, we've been looking into him, so I mean, I felt that's where the but bar like, went when for he me. He talks about living to get by, like he's trying to get by. Mm -hmm. What I get from this is like, how how can I? How can you even ask of me to talk about? who I am from a morality point. Right. Like how can, it's like Nip said, yeah. how can we function in morality if you're in survival mode? Yeah, that's a good question. And that's, you can't. You're saying my surviving, so. Yeah, you, like you said, all I know is my ribs is touching my back right now. <laughs> that's all I know. I'm in survival mode, but yeah. it's real because yeah. it still applies to everybody. Oh, yeah, facts. And if I wake up tomorrow, when that sun comes back around, I'll be wishing I was sober. I love how the mic's also picking up nature in the background, man. It makes it just even more authentic, more real. And the, the the realness and the lyrics too about when I wake up I'm gonna wish I was sober and that's just the vicious cycle you you're in when you are drinking and when you're drinking you're thinking I want to get sober and then when you wake up the next day you feel like so like you feel like shit and it gets to a point to where you're drinking to alleviate those anxieties I'll talk about it more in a little bit. Well, the liquor and the bowl they've been saving my soul. From the pain that the world's put on me. See. And Lord, I know that upstairs there's an old man who cares. And one day he'll set me free. I'll go on the whim, start writing a hymn that sounds so sweet. Ugh. But the trouble. And the sand of the world that we're in Knock me back off my feet I gotta get sober I gotta start living right and I don't know how it's gonna go But it ain't gonna happen tonight So pour them down strong Till I drown if I wake up tomorrow when that sun comes back around, I'll be wishing I was sober. That line is if I wake up tomorrow. <sighs> I feel like he should pour into this one. Well, the life we've been given and the way we've been living Just a song that we write till we die Now some people write songs on living just right But I write mine on just getting by and I'll go on I like that because that's, that's, dang, he say living just, but I write mine on just, I'm barely getting by. So he's just letting you know he's giving you an element of pain. And y'all know I like pain. On living just right. It ain't I all the good. Mine Bad. On just getting by. I'll go on the whim. Start writing the hymn that sounds so sweet. Hmm. The whim, write a hymn. But the trouble. And the 
the sand of the world that we're in. Knock me back off my feet. Damn, the way that he put he put that in a way like you couldn't help but receive that. The the what? In the, in essence, when you're you're trying to do better, maybe you're trying to stop drinking, maybe you're trying to stop doing drugs, maybe you're trying to do something better that you know you shouldn't be doing. But he said the troubles of the world keep knocking me back down. Like man, man, and it's crazy. Ah, this was gonna hit this one. Damn, it's yeah, it's crazy because um, if you've ever grown up with an an alcoholic or a druggy parent, like all you kind of always, especially as a kid, you have it like, yo, y'all can't get right. Like we're, we're living like we're like I was taken by CPS three times because, because of drugs and alcohol, and you know that's three times, you know, separate times she went into you know rehab and basically came out sober, but then would relapse. So. Y'all know that, man. I, I, I understand where y'all are coming from. I understand what y'all feel. And y'all actually should understand what I feel listening to something like this as well. So what's crazy is addiction is it, crazy. Addiction addiction takes people it it's in some places. And it'd be the littlest thing. And it's sometimes being that person outside looking in, even with a parent, you 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 feel like it's a crutch. Well, the life we've been given and the way we've been living, just a song that we write till we die. Mm. Now, some people write songs on living just right, but I write. Mine on just getting by and I'll go on the whim Start writing the hymn That sounds so sweet I gotta keep my eyes closed But the troubles and the sand Of the world that we're in Knock me back off my feet This is so raw, man So raw Gotta get sober God is hard and living right I don't know how it's gonna go But it ain't gonna happen tonight So pour them down strong Pour them down strong Till I drown And if I wake up tomorrow When that sun comes back around I'll be wishing I was sober Natural element sound. Or oh, somebody playing that. Well, the liquor and the bowl, they've been saving my soul from the pain that the world's put on me. And Lord, I know that upstairs there's an old man who cares, and one day. He'll set me free And I'll go on the whim Start writing the hymn That sounds so sweet But the troubles and the sin Of the world that we're in Knock me back off my feet I gotta get sober God is hard and living right and I don't know how it's gonna go But it ain't gonna happen tonight So pour them down strong Till I drown And if I wake up tomorrow When that sun comes back around I'll be wishing I was sober
Well, the life we've been given and the way we've been living, just a song that we write till we die. Now, some people write songs on living just right, but I write mine on just getting by. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Some people write songs on living just right, but I write mine on just getting by. Yeah. Uh, that means that we, most of the world can relate to this man because most yes. of us out here are just getting by. And we can relate to him. Oh. Uh, but we can't relate to someone else who's talking about something that we don't even do, that we're not even going through. This is why we all love Oliver. Because he's one of us, you know. He's and, a he's he's everybody. Yes. It's like, it gets like it's I crazy. mean, he's like a regular average guy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, everybody is a piece of Oliver that we all can relate to. And it's I love crazy. the way wherever he goes in his backyard and he zone out and back with the trees and you know and sunlight nature. and nature and everything, and he just give us a a hell of a performance. I love that. Wow. I'm we sorry go. we had to stop it, guys. We're going I to mean, take it back. It's just hit me. I got chills. <sighs> you can hear nature. Well, the life we've been given and the way we've been living, just a song that we write till we die. Woo! Now, some people write songs on living just right, but I write mine on just getting by. <laughs> and I'll go on the whim, start writing the hymn that sounds so sweet. But the troubles and the sin of the world that we're in knock me back off my feet. God. I gotta get sober. I gotta start living right. And I don't know how it's gonna go, but it ain't gonna happen tonight. Woo! Pour them down strong till I drown. Whoa! And if I wake up tomorrow. When that sun comes back around, I'll be wishing I was sober. Oh my lord! Wow! There you go in the guitar again. That guitar is fire. Well, the life we've been given and the way we've been living, just a song. That we write till we die. Now some people write songs on living just right, but I write mine on just getting by. Mm. I'll go on the whim, start writing the hymn that sounds so sweet. But the troubles and the sin of the world that we're in knock me back off my feet this brother got a lot of pain in his lyrics a lot i mean a lot and he just be spilling it out through his music <laughs> Ooh, excuse me excuse me he out in the wilderness y'all know i got allergies brother oliver i mess with you dog but we got the Pop a Zertex or something, brother. Claritin. Brother. Is this stuffy in here? The music is fired. It'll continue to talk to me, brother. Is that a fly? Mosquitoes? What's going on? Grass flying? It's emotional. I gotta get sober. Ooh. I gotta start living right. I don't know how it's gonna go. Mm. But it ain't gonna happen tonight. So pour them down strong. Ooh. Till I drown. And if I wake up tomorrow, 
When that sun comes back around, I'll be wishing I was sober. He's smooth with that guitar, man. Well, the life we've been given and the way we've been living, oh. just a song that we write till we die. Yeah. Now, some people write songs on living just right, but I write mine on just getting by. I'll go on to him, start writing the hymn that sounds so sweet. But the troubles and the sin of the world that we're in knock me back off my feet. All right, stop mm. right there. I like his sound, man. Yeah, he's, he's got it, such a unique He's got voice. some pipes, man. The country bluegrassy pipes but i mean he's just kind of playing but he is smooth on that guitar the what the the sound he's getting out of it with his voice and i mean even the words to the song uh so far you know we, we write songs until the day that we die and he talks about sin and um i'm digging it yeah he said he writes songs um uh, i can't remember exactly how he worded it a couple of lines back but to explain the times that he goes to go back a little bit for the words so i can see him um writing hold on that till we die keep going no keep going forward i write mine on just getting by yeah you can kind of hear he's got that voice too like yeah. he's just talking about man the troubles he goes through stuff he experiences in life um but yeah i like his voice is very yeah. unique go on when start writing the hymn that sounds so sweet but mm -hmm. he says because of the sin it knocked me off my feet yeah all right well, the life we've been given and the way we've been living, just a song that we write till we die. Mm. Ooh, hold on. the life we've been given and the way we've been living just a song that we write till we die mm. now some people write songs on living just right but i write mine on just getting by hey man that's the truth though man some you know a lot of these songs are you know talking about how good they're living how good life is and you know this that and the third but like he said he writes songs about just getting by you know what i'm saying so i feel that's more relatable you know what i'm saying because it's only one percent out there that's really doing great <laughs> you know what i'm saying and the rest of us you know like you and i is what he's talking about so i think that's why uh his songs and music is so relatable to us because we can actually relate to it so we feel it more. You understand know what I'm saying? Come on, let's go. But I write mine on just getting by. I'll go on to him, start writing the hymn that sounds so sweet. But the troubles and the sand up the world that we're in Knock me back off my feet Ooh, The troubles in the sin Of the world that we in Knock me back On my feet <laughs> Woo I'm telling you man Oliver Anthony be speaking that truth man Protect him by all costs Because he is speaking that truth For real Saving my soul from the pain that the world's put on me. Woo! Wow! And Lord, I know that upstairs there's an old man who cares, and one day he'll set me free. I'll go on a whim, start writing the hymn 
it sounds so sweet But the troubles and the sin Of the world that we're in Knock me back off my feet Woo! I gotta get sober I gotta start living right Yes! And I don't know how it's gonna go But it ain't gonna happen tonight So pour them down strong Till I drown Oh my gosh And if I wake up tomorrow When that sun comes back around I'll be wishing I was sober And the way we've been living's just a song that we write till we die. Oh my gosh, my love, my love! I'm so Ooh. sorry. I know, I know. Ah. I know, babe. Oliver did it, didn't he? I wasn't expecting that one, Oliver. You hit me, man. You hit you hard. I love this guy. I know. I love him, too. And I just thank God for this guy, man. Wherever he came from, I don't he care. He came out of nowhere. <laughs> out of nowhere. But I love this guy. And bless everybody. Like, he just appeared. Like, it wow. was magic. Woo, you just hit me, man. In every which way. Because growing up, in a household when you got to see your father go through addiction, your mother go through addiction, and then you go through addiction. You know what I'm saying? And you trying to drink it away. You know, you trying to smoke it away. And when the sun come back around, you right back in the same spot. Oh. Oh. Heard this man is singing is coming from his soul. Like he's singing his heart out every time. I tell everybody that I work with, that I, my clients, it's like, whenever you're making music or recording music, sing it or rap it in my case, because guys, I'm a hip hop head. I don't listen to country music. I'm not going to lie. Um, I say rap or deliver your music like it's the last time you'll be able to perform it again. And that kind of changes their mindset from being monotone. They, they put some... They put some heart, some soul into it, and people can feel it. People know when things are authentic and when things are fucking fake. People know it. They can see it. They can hear it. They can feel it. And you can definitely feel it. I had the chill. When he's, he's, I don't know what it's called because I'm not a vocal coach. He's putting this, this twang on his voice and also like just dropping octaves quickly just to give you this raspiness. And it's just, it just pulls on my heartstrings every time that I hear it. It's pain. It's the blues. Obviously, folk music, but country as well. It, it's it's a, it's 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 where it all stems from. And the, the the concept, the song concept about getting sober, man. I mean, I think it's 175 million Americans. Half of us are alcoholics. First off, go like, go subscribe to Anthony Oliver, please. Oliver Anthony. I just said Anthony Oliver. Did I really just say that? Oh my God. Oliver Anthony, I apologize. Go go subscribe to Oliver Anthony. Go like, go subscribe. I'm thinking about drinking right now. That's my issue. I'm not going to lie. I was thinking about drinking. Go go subscribe to Oliver Anthony. Most important part of this video. Um, but what I wanted to say was you're on this vicious cycle when you're drinking. And it starts off as something you do just to kind of escape a little bit, like he said, from the world and the life that we're living. Next thing you know, you're so dependent on it because when you wake up in the morning, you're shaking. You can't function. You can't get through your day. You're having a few beers in the morning or a few shots in the morning. I was a functioning alcoholic where I drank from sunup to sundown as soon as I woke up 24 to 7. Didn't stop. I did that for about six years straight. Uh, and then I, dr I drank inconsistently for about four years before that. Um, so it was like a 
total of 10 years of drinking, but six years of nonstop 24 seven until I hit rock bottom, man. I mean, and I don't, I don't mean just having a few beers at night just to really, no, I mean like drinking a whole fucking like half a gallon of vodka with three bottles of wine and then throw a few tall boys in there with some shooters while I'm at work. Shooters are the little, you know, little bottles with shots in them. However you want to fucking, whatever you want to call them. And, oh, dude, and like quitting was, I had to wean myself up. Be careful when quitting. If you're quitting, if you're, if you're thinking about quitting alcohol and getting sober, be, please be very careful. Um, alcohol and benzodiazepines are like the only thing that can really kill you while you're detoxing. So you have to really wean off of the alcohol. I, I had to take about a month and a half to get myself down to about two beers a night. Um, I did that for about two weeks, two, two beers a night. And then I just went cold Turkey. I, at this time I smoked a lot of cigarettes. I, I had smoked cigarettes and I had benzodiazepine Xanax to help me sleep. Um, and I just kept, uh, taking sleeping pills and, uh, which is not, I don't, I don't, I'm no doctor. I don't su suggest this. But I was trying to sleep through the first three days just so I can get through the physical dependency of it because I felt absolutely miserable. But I also had like amazing food around. You won't want to eat though. It's just, it's tough, dude. The first three days are just miserable, absolutely miserable. And then your, body, your mind and your body start to kind of come around. But each hour that goes by while you're quitting, just remember that the pain's leaving your body and your body's healing and recovering from all the years of abuse. And if you need help with anything, please reach out to me. I can't, I could talk here for two hours about alcohol and getting sober. Um, please reach out to me if you need me. If you want more uh, Oliver Anthony, please reach out, or not reach out, sorry. Please subscribe, comment down below. I got you guys covered. Can't believe I said his name back. <laughs> I was thinking about having a drink. Well, that's the thing is like, as an addict, you're always an addict. It doesn't matter if you're eight years sober, 20 years sober, one day sober. It's just a part of your personality. And that's okay. It's a disease. There's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's okay. Just accept it. And then you just have to find a way to beat it. But, any but the troubles and the sand of the world that we're in knock me back off my feet. Hold on. I want to hear that again, dude. Whoa. Sweet. But the trouble. And the sand of the world that we're in Knock me back off my feet I gotta get sober I got this heart and living right I don't know how it's gonna go But it ain't gonna happen tonight So pour them down strong Till I drown and if I wake up tomorrow, when that sun comes back around, I'll be wishing I was sober. Yo, yeah, that's how it goes for so many addicts, especially, you know, I know he's talking about alcohol specifically right now, but that's how it goes for so many addicts, alcohol, whatever drug you're on, you're like, you always want to get sober. You always want to, like, I'm going to do it this time. And then you just, one last hurrah, right? And then you wake up like, damn it, man. Did it again. It's, uh, I have a few family members that are alcoholics. I have a brother that's been in, yeah, going through it. So, tried to help. There's nothing I can really do at this point. We're, uh, he's got to make his own mind up. Powerful, powerful. One comes back around, I'll be wishing I was sober. Well, the liquor and the bowl, they've been saving my soul from the pain that the world's put on me and lord i know that upstairs there's an old man who cares and one day he'll set me free i'll go on
Yeah, that could mean many a things right there. You know, you you die or he gets into your heart and uh, you end up changing for the better and cha- getting sober, changing your life and start living life, really, you know, rather than uh, just trying to mask the hurt, you know. So I really like that. I'll go on a whim, start writing a hymn that sounds so sweet. But the troubles and the sin of the world that we're in knock me back off my feet. Yo, I'm gonna pause it again. This, this is a lot going a lot he's saying right there. It's like uh when you are someone who is trying to recover from something, whether it's, I mean, it could be many of things, right? Whether it's like you got PTSD from some trauma, you're an addict. A lot of people with PTSD from trauma, a lot of people with trauma in their lives become addicts. That's how it starts. You know, you just don't want to feel any hurt. Um, and they start doing drugs and all that. And, you know, it's, um, just hear that one more time. Well, the life we've been given and the way we've been living, mm. just a song that we write till we die. Mm. Now, some people write songs on living just right. But I write mine on just getting by. Wow. Mm. I'll go on a whim, start writing a hymn that sounds so sweet. But the troubles and the sin of the world that we're in mm. knock me back off my feet. Woo! I gotta get sober. Mm. God is hard and living right I don't know how it's gonna go But it ain't gonna happen tonight mm. So pour them down strong mm. Wow Till I drown And if I wake up tomorrow When that sun comes back around I'll be wishing I was sober. Woo! And giving, and the way we've been living, just a song that we write till we die. Now, so- what the freak was that first bar? Hold up. Well, the life we've been given and the way we've been living, just a song that we write till we die. Mm. Now, some people write songs on living just right, but I write mine on just getting by. Mm. That means like he writes his song on his pain and struggle. Those, honestly, that's what sells, though. That pain and struggle music. You know what I'm saying? Many people may not like hip hop, but most hip hop is pain and struggle. You know what I mean? It might be glorified, you know, gangs and stuff like that, but most of it is pain and struggle. But uh, this right here, like people relate to pain and struggle. We all going through something, man. But I write mine on just getting by. I'll go on the whim, start riding. Him that sounds so sweet, but the troubles and the sin of the world that we're in knock me back off my mm. feet. I gotta get sober. I got this heart and living right. I don't know how it's gonna go, but it ain't. Don't happen tonight. Ooh, that's a bar. I like what he said there. 
He said that I got to get myself to get kind of I'm saying it in context, but he said I got to get myself together and start living right. But earlier in the song, he actually said that I don't write about living right. That's that's kind of crazy how that connects together a little bit. Living. 